Hello YouTube, this is Mike from Virtual PM just coming to you again with another Azure DevOps training. Today we're going to be talking about the checklist for Azure DevOps. Now why would we want to go ahead and use um, this uh, particular feature? Well, it gives you quick access to your work, allows you to work faster, fast navigation between pages and projects, and keeps you more organized. Um, I've actually used this quite a bit at my work and it's really helped me kind of keep everything straight as I'm moving from project to project. Additionally, it's kind of a one-stop shop for all of your Azure DevOps items that are assigned to, to you so you can see it across projects. Um, it also shows all of the development pull requests that need your attention. Um, it also, um, the feature allows you to easily navigate Azure DevOps with one click, basically going from projects to backlogs to sprints and then to queries. So let's go ahead and show you exactly what I'm talking about. So here we have our Maka project and the icon that I'm talking about is this checklist icon here up here at the top next to your search. If you select that, you're gonna see three different tabs. One is the work item tab, pull requests and favorites. So work items is exactly what it sounds like. It actually pulls all of the work um, from that Azure instance and the different projects that you're assigned and pulls it all into one location. So right now I can see a lot of my different work items that I have, that I have assigned uh, features, user stories, epics, bugs, etc. Uh, the second tab is the pull requests. This is for mostly for our developers, but this will allow you to look at all the different pull requests that need your attention and you can simply click on them and get right into those pull requests. And finally, favorites. This is probably one of the most underutilized items here, but I think this will really allow you guys to actually be able to officially move and manage projects. Even if you're just a developer, you can go in between your projects and actually move a lot quicker uh, through Azure DevOps. So to add new um, items or new favorites to, to this, it's relatively simple. So say I wanted to actually see um, a specific, um, a new query or a new uh, view in, in my project. So I would go to, let's just say I wanted to do dashboards. So I click on dashboards it'll navigate me here. And most of the pages have these little stars here. So you just simply click that and then that adds it to your favorite. And then to remove it, you simply click it again and it, and it deselects the star. Once it's been selected, you'll be able to see that you have multiple dash or you have another favorite here in, in your favorites tab. Now let's just say you wanted to go ahead and um, star something outside of the project. That's no problem. So let's just go to our ABC project. And let's say we wanted to see their backlog items. And you can star at different levels too. So this is the just the story level and the feature level. So you can star at each one of these levels here. So I'm gonna star the feature and the stories. Right, and we select. And now you can see that you have two different backlog views that you guys can select from. Uh, you can add uh, different sprints. So if you have a sprint set up in your project, you simply go to the iteration that you want to go ahead and select, like say we're working on iteration three, and go ahead and select that. And then that will become another favorite in your list. I think the key to this is to make sure you always are grooming your favorites. So if they become not important anymore, or you're not necessarily working on that specific sprint, you can go here and also de deselect it here. And then that will remove it from, from, from your favorites list. As you guys can see, you also have this move up arrow. So you can actually move things up throughout the list depending on what's more important to you. Let's go ahead and go in here and add a few work items here. Requirement one, sign it to myself. Save and close. Let's go another work item requirement two. We're going to go ahead and sign it to myself again. So now as I'm assigning these things and let's go ahead and get out of here and go into back into my demo project. Now that I've assigned those items or someone has assigned them to me, I can simply go to my checklist icon, go to work items 
And now I should be able to see that I actually have two new requirements that have been assigned uh, to me. So even though I'm in my PM demo project, I can still access these, these requirements directly from this checklist, work on them, get them done, check them off and just go down the list. And I know a lot of us are used to having side lists on our, on our desks, you know, checking things off as we go. This could definitely be a substitute to that um, to be able to work just like that within Azure DevOps. So I hope you guys like this. Um, please give me a like or subs and please subscribe. Um, I'll definitely be putting out more videos like this. And uh, if you have any comments or questions, please leave that down in the comments below. Thank you and have a good day.